Salam suara konservasi Setelah kita pelajari 5 konsep pengembangan wisata alam di Taman Nasional dan Taman Wisata Alam Masih ingat ada 11 contoh video 5 konsep pengembangan wisata alam Kalau belum bisa ditonton lagi Sekarang kita bahas selanjutnya bagaimana teknik menyusun set plan pengembangan pariwisata alam Tapi sebelumnya tolong di subscribe dulu There are many considerations that must be analyzed, including 1. Aspel legislation policy 2. Ecological aspect 3. Physical and technical aspects 4. Aesthetic aspects 5. Socioeconomic and cultural history Technical aspects that need to be considered are 1. Accessibility 2. Availability of land resources 3. Technology application In the application of technology, the most important are a. Preserving, protecting at the site level b. Maintaining local cultural heritage, such as traditional settlement patterns and adapting the architectural design of local traditional buildings c. Using renewable energy sources and materials. Layout plan. There are four things that need to be designed, namely, a. Spatial plan, b. Facility development plan, c. Infrastructure development plan, 1. Clean water network installation, 2. Electricity network, diesel fuel drinking electricity generator, biosolar, 3. Waste treatment plant, natural tourism business activities, 4. Telecommunication Network The telecommunications network in business space is classified as moderate, it means it's not optimal. Towers need to be held around the area. D. Layout plan for facilities and infrastructure Based on the spatial plan, the facility and infrastructure layout plan will be developed in all business areas as shown in the following map. From the analysis of the drone, map and five aspects, then the layout based on the fitment with their potential, examples of creations recommended to design the physical design, as follows. 1. Gate. 2. Landmark. 3. Parking area. 4. Riverside Cottage. 5. Canopy Trail. 6. Cluster 1 to 6 thematic glamping. 7. Community Empowerment Area. 